What's up, everybody? Quinn here with a Pokemon TCG deck profile. This is Golisopod Garbodor, and uh, this took second place in the 2017 Pokemon World Championships. I think it's a pretty good deck. So here's the list. To start things off, we have four Wimpods, just so you can evolve into uh, Golisopod. This is the one with the Wimp Out ability, so during the first turn, he has no retreat cost. It's pretty nice. We have one, two, three Golisopod GXs. These are the main attacker, the first impression attack for one energy does 30 damage. And if he was on the bench and became the active Pokemon this turn, it does 90 more damage. So 120 damage for just one energy is pretty sweet. Um, if you can keep switching them out each turn, then it's really cool. Now we have one, two, three, four Trubbish. These are the basic stage of Garboder, who is our uh, second attacking Pokemon, I guess. Um, not really, but. He's very helpful, and, uh, so, yeah. Now, I'll show you the, we have two, uh, tra Garbotoxin Garboders. Uh, he has the ability Garbotoxin shuts down all abilities if he has a tool card on him, like Float Stone or Choice Band. So that's really cool. And two Trash Lance Garboders for one Psychic Energy. Uh, does 20 damage times the amount of item cards in your opponent's discard pile, so it's really a late game finisher card. It's pretty nice, does lots of damage if they have lots of items in their discard pile, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, two Tapu Lele GXs, the Wonder Tag ability. When you put it on your bench from your hand, you may search your deck for any supporter and put it into your hand, so pretty nice to set up like a Bridget or a Sycamore if you need it. That's pretty cool. And then for the last Pokemon is Tapu Koko. Uh, it's pretty nice in the deck. For a two colorless, does Flying Flip for 20 damage to each Pokemon on the board on your opponent's side. And it has no retreat cost, so you can retreat it for free into a Golisopod GX to do 120 damage. So that's pretty nice. For the supporters, we have... Uh, these are just the, yeah, the supporters. We have... One, two, three, four Professor Sycamores. Just a hand refreshing card. Discard your hand, draw seven. It's pretty nice. We have one, two, three ends. You, each player shovels their hand to their deck and draws for the remaining prize cards. So you can disrupt your opponent's hand or refresh yours at the same time. And if you have six prize cards, you can draw six. And if they have one, you, they draw one. So that's pretty nice. One, two, Guzma. You can switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So you can choose a weak Pokemon or a really strong one that has no energies on it. And then switch one of your Pokemon. Uh, you can switch into a Golisopod GX. So, and do 120 damage to the Pokemon you picked out to switch, which is pretty nice. And two Acerola. You pick up one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So, if your Golisopod GX has like 15 damage counters on it, you can just boom pick it up. Uh, your opponent will hit you for that. Trust me. It's pretty nice. Uh, one Bridget. You search your deck for one EX, which we don't play any, or three basics, and put them onto your bench. Then you shuffle your deck. That one's really just a setup card. You can search your deck for three Wimpods or some Wimp Pods and Trubbishes, uh, Tapu Koko if you need it. So that's pretty nice. One Hex Maniac. This is just in case you can't get your Garboders out. It shuts down all abilities until the end of your opponent's next turn. So that one is kind of a last resort card. And for the last supporter, we have Teammates. You can only play it if one of your Pokemon was knocked out last turn. You search your deck for any two cards and put them in your hand. So that one's awesome. Something your opponent does not want to see right after they knock out one of your 
Pokemon, so it's pretty cool. Now for the item cards, we have one, two, three, four Ultra Balls. You discard two cards from your hand, and you search your deck for any Pokemon. So you could look for a Tapu Lele if you need it, or a Galissapod GX. Just any Pokemon. It's really nice. Now we have... One, two, three, four float stones for Pokemon. It's attached to has no retreat cost, so you can attach it to a Glyphosate GX to retreat it, and then Guzma or something like that. So that one's pretty nice. Um, you can also put it on a Wimpod with like three retreat costs or just any Pokemon to retreat them for free. Uh, four. BS Seekers, you can put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand so you could get some more Guzmas or a Sycamore or an N or something. That was really nice. Um, two choice bands. Uh, the Pokemon it's attached to does 30 more damage to your opponent's GX or EX. It does more damage. And then Two rescue stretchers. You can put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand or shuffle three from your discard pile into your deck. That's pretty cool. And then we have Heavy Ball. You can search your deck for a Pokemon with a tree cost of three or more and put it into your hand. That one helps you search for Wimpods, Galisopods, uh, Garboders, Let's do Trebuches. You know, just, just the Garboders and Blaze Supplies and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, then the last item is a Field Blower. You can choose up to two, any combination of Stadiums and Tool Cards, and discard them. So, you can discard a Stadium and a Tool that's on your opponent's side that's hurting your side. Or, if you really need your abilities back, you could discard the Garboders Float Stone. It's kind of, don't really do that that much often, but it's pretty nice. Now for the energies, we play exactly three brass energies for Galisopod. Um, these are only for Galisopod, really. Um, you shouldn't be using them on anything else besides them, but if you really have to, you can. Uh, just for his first impression attack. Which does 120 if it was on the bench became your active that turn. Then we play 1, 2, 3 double colorless energy. It provides 2 of any energy, so you could attach it to Tapu Koko to use his attack. Uh, Tapu Lele if you need that. Or even a Glycopod GX so you could use its GX attack or the Armor Press attack. Then for our last energies, we have four rainbow energies. They provide any energy, and you put 10 damage on the Pokemon you attach it to. So you're going to be using this for your Trash Lanch, and if you need it, the uh, first impression, the Lysopod GX. So you think that if you, if you think that. Only three grass energy is not enough for Glycopod. You really have seven, essentially. But these are mostly for Glycopods and Garboders, so. Alright, that's all of my deck that I have to show you guys. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Bye.